Hello from the Rijksmuseum here in Amsterdam, Holland. I'm Patrick Hughes and this is Planet Patrick. I've just left the campsite here in Amsterdam and I'm heading into the city, but not for my usual top three or top five or top ten. No, after 11 or is it 12 weeks in Barbara Bailey, I've booked a night in a hotel. I fancy staying somewhere conventionally comfortable and eating out. Join me for this bit, Planet Patrick. Welcome to the Citizen M Hotel in Amstel, in Amsterdam, right in the centre of the city. Is it everything I hoped for? Well, it's a hotel room and I've not been in one in 11 weeks of doing van life. And for the price, this is a four-star king-size room. The room is tiny. Let's do a tour. The first thing is this room seems very dark. Immediately inside the door, there's a little wardrobe area with kind of cute plastic hangers. Then we're pretty much straight into this frosted glass bathroom. Okay, I mean, I think this is cute. There's a nice little bathroom area. And on the glass are mounted two toilet rolls, which are quite nice. And then into the shower area, all very dim. They have their own shower shampoo, an AM and a PM version, and a Hans Grohe shower. Plenty of money spent on that. This wet room is pretty small, but it does have a pretty ginormous shower head. I think if you were sharing this with a loved person or a friend, I would find the frosted glass a little public and it's not lockable. Nice big mirror here, which is a good idea. There's two knobs here. We like that. And then this is kind of the utility area. So there's a sink here, which is reasonably well lit. I don't know if I was doing makeup that this would be particularly bright enough. Leave a comment down below saying what you think. I mean, I think I already look glamorous. Okay, so what's in this unit? Obviously a sink area here with good water pressure and it's very clean. Little shelf here and this is a separated rubbish bin. This side, metal and glass. This side, general rubbish. In here, there are some extra towels. They are adequate. They're not particularly fluffy. Some tissues, some opaque glasses, clean, which is good. Hair dryer here and, oh, a little fridge here. So I might want to get some water or juice for that. I've parked my little camera here and gimbal, a light up there. And then this is a generously sized TV screen. A couple of books provided, but I think those are more for color than for reading. The space down here is perfect for this desk and desk chair. I think they're really making the most of the space that's available. But this is either something that you like or that you hate. You can't walk around the bed. The bed is built in. I mean, it's very nice. This gray fabric is nice and soft and has something of the asylum about it. Two pillows. They squandered the chance to have four. Hello there. Um, I wonder, could I ask for one more pillow, please? Yes, please. That's correct. Thanks so much for your help. Okay, take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye. I need one more. I can cope with three, but not two. It's nice to see a proper bed after a long time in a motorhome. Firm but in a good way. Nice, big, clean, crisp duvet on there. Ooh, hello. Ooh, stretchy. 
tucked away in this hidden drawer is a safe. And another drawer perfect for storing extra pillows. This I don't like. I don't like any extraneous cushions or things that hang on for a period. I'm sure this is a, a look that Citizen M are going for, but frankly, this is dirty. It's got hairs on it. No, no, no. Not in a top-rated four-star hotel. Goodbye. Oh, maybe everybody does that and that's why it got dirty. It also hurt my rotator cuff. I hate that. This is very similar to the Z hotels in the UK. Everything's kind of built in a little bit. Down here they have an iPad. Everything in the room is controlled from here. Room controls, so I can change the heat here. I can organize the blinds. Let's put those down. I do like an electric blind. Nice. And then you can run the climate control from here as well, which is a great idea. Or go straight into TV and radio. I'm still going back for work. It has become very dark in here due to me closing the blinds. I've also gone for breakfast here, which I don't often do, but I thought it would be very nice to have somebody cook for me for a change. Check out tomorrow is going to be 11 o'clock. I'm intending to make the most of this time before heading out to explore Amsterdam. If you're looking for magic pot plants, you're well served. <laughs> well, this is Dam Square where an awful lot of holidays to Amsterdam begin. I read a post from a well-known travel blogger the other day who said that coming to Amsterdam right now was stupid because it was so, so busy. Walking up that street towards the central station is the busiest I've seen anything since COVID. It is busy. People have been waiting. They've been waiting for Amsterdam. I have just returned from my outing to Dam Square and hither is a bag, hopefully with a pillow in it. And they very kindly sent me one Two. Yay, we go to party, samba. We're not going to party, or indeed, samba. Apart from whatever this dance is. Good morning. It's time for breakfast. This muffin thing looks delicious. Mm, it smells kind of like leeks and onions. Mm. Like a quiche with no pastry. See you in a bit. Ugh, breakfast was good. I have to say it was worth it. Breakfast cost an additional 14 euros, something like that. I'm not saying I nicked this freshly squeezed apple juice, but what's happening today? I like two things, and I'm going to do those two things today in Amsterdam. First is the Rijksmuseum, one of the best art museums in the world. And then I've left myself a bit of time until I pick up a one hour canal trip on an electric boat, caring for the environment, that goes around some of the canals. And I thought it would be a fun way of exploring a little bit and seeing Amsterdam from not the street. Time to hit the road, Jack. Shitty car, but we hit the road. Doesn't matter where we go. The Reichs Museum is a 20 minute walk or a 10 minutes by tram. I'm gonna walk. Tickets are sold for a very particular entrance time. Mine's between 11.30 and 11.45. There's still a queue, but it's not very long. 
entrance is very straightforward. A quick scan of your downloaded barcode and in you go. I paid a little bit extra to get one of these audio guides and actually they highlight everything in color and you've got the usual sound. I'm going to do the most popular tour, which is the highlights gallery. I think you have to do every museum or art gallery tour with a purpose. My attention span is about one hour. So this is Rembrandt's The Night Watch, the giant painting behind me. It's probably one of the most famous paintings here in the Rijksmuseum. But it's famous, of course, because it's Rembrandt, but also because of its unruly subject matter. Normally you'd get members of the Night Watch lined up in terms of their seniority and rank. Here they're sort of jumbled up as if they're go about to go out and start shooting their muskets off. But there's a night sky and it's supposed to be the morning. That's typical Rembrandt. He would usually paint with a dark background so he could shine a spotlight on the faces of his subjects. Those things put together and its size have probably made it one of the most famous paintings in this part of the world. As predicted, one hour and 10 minutes in, I'm done. It's pretty packed in here, so getting to see anything is problematic. The multimedia device ended up being really quite useful, but I think there's also an app you can download and listen to your own headphones, and that might save you five euros. So if that matters to you, try that. This is the Anne Frank House here in Amsterdam and one of the busiest tourist places to go in the city. I tried to book a ticket, but no luck. They're booked out for about a month in advance. I've been here before, luckily, so I'm okay with that. But it's really worth coming to see if you're here in Amsterdam. But remember, you need to book well in advance. This is also a really great place to pick up one of the many canal tours that go right through the city. And that's what I'm going to do next. Is this a really bad place to sit? Sure. This city is actually a little bit over here. Okay. Can some people go to this side of the boat? They, these canals are very busy. Not only the, the boats try to kiss us, also the bridges they want to kiss us. But we're, I'm playing hard to get. It's very important that you keep your hands inside of the boat. And over there, there's Pippa. Go, Pippa. The boat trip is over. Not so much a guided tour as an opportunity for them to sell beverages, but they seem very nice, apart from the fact we couldn't hear a thing that they said. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Planet Patrick from here in Amsterdam. Until the next episode, take care and bye-bye.